All right, welcome back again today. Today I'm going to show you how to use the shutter priority mode on the D3000. And of course, and for this I'm using my D3000 and with it attached is my 55 to 200 millimeter lens. Uh, works good outdoors but inside it's not really all that great I've had a lot I have a lot of problems making it work correctly so I will go ahead and push the info button to bring this display up maybe I will have to press it again there we go and you see we are set at 1 to 500 of a second and of course uh, let me turn this back on again and you see right there that is the f-stop or aperture setting and it's set all the way to low and for this okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera off just for a second so I can set the tripod up I'm going to need two hands for this Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. I wasn't able to get to work like I wanted to with the tripod. I keep getting a bad reflection, so I'm just going to have to hold it over here like this. But Okay, so you see the aperture is set to low, and the shutter speed is at 1 500th of a second. And you take and turn this wheel right here. Of course, you can't see it. Oh, here we go. And you see as I turn the wheel, you see that the shutter speed changes. And you'll also see that the aperture changes. So basically what this does is you pick the shutter speed and the camera or the body will pick the aperture setting which is best suited for the picture. So we will try a shot right here at 100. We will go to 1 100th of a second. And I've already, what I've done, of course you can't see through the viewfinder too well. But we are going to use that cedar tree that's in the first third to the left as the subject. And I've already focused on it and everything to save time. So, I'm going to go ahead and sh sh snap the picture. And you can see you've got a bright photo. Of course, you know, you can't see them too well. And, of course, with minimal shadows. And, of course, that is the shutter speed and the aperture shot with. So, we're going to speed the camera up just a little bit. We're at 1 200th of a second, and notice the aperture has opened up just a little more where it's got a wider setting at f7.1 now. And of course you notice it's still a bright picture, minimal shadows. Not much different than the other one was. And we will go ahead and speed the camera up to 1 320th of a second. And notice the f-stop is open to f5 now. And the picture stays pretty much the same. And I will go ahead and... Yeah, I mean, you can notice there's not really much of a difference so that's basically what the shutter priority does is you pick the shutter speed and it picks the aperture or the f-stop that best suits and of course you will have to go in and you'll have to set your ISO which if I was to take and speed the ISO uh, or raise the sensitivity up to 800 you will see that the f-stop it changed and I will go ahead and snap a picture and you can see it's still bright minimal shadow correctly exposed maybe slightly overexposed 
but you can tell there's not really much difference. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the ISO down back to 200. And I'm going to go ahead and speed the camera up to about 1 one one eight hundredth of a second. And of course you see the aperture is all the way down to, it's, it's open as far as it can now. Now you see it's starting to underexpose because the camera can no longer compensate. Uh, the aperture that it's really needing to correctly overexpose is beyond what this lens is capable of. Outdoors, I would say you can use this. I've tried several times indoors. And I have not had very good luck out of indoor photography in shutter priority mode. So we're at 1 20th of a second at f22. And I'm going to go ahead and snap a picture. And notice the lighting still is about the same. Shadowing hasn't really filled in any different. Uh, so pretty much whatever you're going to set the, the uh, shutter speed for, the aperture is going to adjust uh, pretty much accordingly. So you're not really going to get too much of a difference. Now your depth of field will probably change. And that will be something you want to experiment with also. But anyways, I uh, just thought that I would go ahead and make this video of the shutter priority mode. Uh, and coming soon, I will do a video of program mode. I don't like using that mode too well. And of course, it gives you the other auto modes. Uh, I never use those. I think that someone I've loaned the camera, I think I've loaned the camera to a couple people and they've used the auto modes a couple of times. Uh, and they and they work good, but I, I'm, I'm, I always just use the manual modes more. I use aperture priority the most and manual, but the shutter priority mode is a good mode for outdoor shooting. Not so much for indoor that I, that I have found. Uh, there might be some users that use it all the time for indoors. But anyways, I uh, hope that I was able to be at some sort of help anyway. And there's more help videos coming up soon uh, that I'm going to work on. But until then, thanks for watching.